Hey, Comic Book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today, fans, we're going to be talking about Batman issue number 40. This is otherwise known as Endgame Part 6. Uh, so, yeah, interesting stuff that happens in this book. First off, it's. Um, uh, written by Scott Snyder, and the artwork is done by um, Greg Cap uh, Capello. And as always uh, in Batman, it's it's really nice to look at the art in here. Um, and it's really good to read a DC book that has nothing to do with Convergence. And that's what I was happy with, too. Uh, again, the artwork's really good. You get to see small panels with, like, Poison Ivy and some of others, um, uh, other... Uh, of Batman's greatest villains uh, throughout this issue, trying to assist him to try to stop Joker. Um, great facial expressions. Uh, Joker here looks like he's uh, really like psychotic throughout this issue, and uh, I really love the way the artwork was drawn. Uh, there's some crazy fight scenes that happen in this book as well. Uh, so again, visually, this book is outstanding, and if you're a Joker or you know, a Batman fan and you're a fan of these two, you know, meeting up with each other, going for an epic battle, uh, this is one for you because visually this book is just completely, again, outstanding. There was definitely great effort that went into this issue uh, to get, you know, the readers uh, involved and, and invested into this last part of this story here. Um, so now that I talked about the artwork, uh, what did I think about this particular issue? Um, I thought it was really solid. You know, basically in this issue, uh, we get to see, obviously, the dialogue of Bruce, uh, you know, telling us basically his history with the Joker in, in a nutshell. And, uh, you know, you can appreciate that as a Batman fan or a DC fan of, all these times that they've met, all these times that he's come so close to him that it's inches away from him, that he's could have killed them and he just never has. And and then right away this this book opens up with all kinds of action, uh, going against this this whole virus that the Joker created with his gas and whatnot. And he's using the Rogue Gallery here in, in some of his most evil villains to team up with him to try to stop the Joker and the battle just starts right from the beginning and it just goes from page to page to page to page and the battle just gets worse and worse and, and in this issue uh, you wind up finding out that uh, you think Batman is actually being uh, gassed to death and you think that Joker winds up getting the upper hand and he spills the beans on where this uh, where um, this actual antidote is uh, to help cure the people, and, and we find out that uh, someone is posing as Batman as, as he's fighting him in the beginning of the issue. Uh, eventually what happens is Batman comes to a, like a Lazarus pit, and uh, he tries to gather up all the stuff that he can possible, again, to help save the city. Uh, Joker catches up with him, and again, this crazy battle immenses. One of my favorite panels in this book is when Batman is trying to uh, gather uh, what he needs in his little eye here, uh, you just see the shadow of the Joker coming slowly, slowly lurking, and then here he comes right behind uh, Batman and gets ready to stab him in the back. And it was really awesome fight scenes, and you can see that Joker is just like powered up. He's quicker, he's stronger, and uh, he's used this pit to heal himself. And it's, made, it's basically made him more agile and more strong. So he, it's made him a more formidable po, uh, a foe uh, while you're watching, while you're watching, while you're reading this issue. So really well done here. Uh, by the time you get to the end of this issue, uh, the cave is crumbling down and, and uh, Batman or Joker's battle is, is climacting. And uh, it just as Joker's trying to reach for this pit, um, you know, to try to heal himself again, you know, he gets in his mind one last time and, you know, based off of what happens in this issue, uh, you think that maybe they actually die together while the cave is crumbling upon them. So interesting stuff here. The, the book ends basically two weeks later. Alfred uh, kind of in a depression that he no longer has his, you know, longtime friend or son or whatever you want to call it to him. And he's, yes, still missing his arm. 
and or his hand and he feels that he doesn't need the, the hand anymore because he has nobody to mend so uh, by the time you get to this end of this issue uh, it was really well done I'll leave you some of the left of the story at the end but uh, I really enjoyed this book it was a good conclusion to this story and obviously it leads to what's happening with Batman going into the future, starting with the free comic book day issue. So again, guys, um, I love the fight scenes in here. It was lots of action. It's something that you expect, you know, from the Joker trying to get under Batman's skin. Everything that he's saying, you think he is on top, but then Batman gets on top. And then the Joker starts and just really well done. And, and the dialogue in this book was so spot on. And I even love uh, the letterer. Uh, throughout this issue, you know, while the Joker's speaking because he has that tone and it, that voice that's in your head while you're reading of what makes it so good. Constantly says bat, so it reminds you of that traditional Batman. And uh, I really like this issue. This is a really, really good and solid issue. Um, I, you know, what happens from here on out, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I agree with the, the direction they're going with. Uh, but for this issue, I really enjoyed it for everything that it was worth. Artwork, action, dialogue moments, interactions, great stuff. I'm giving this one a 5 out of 5. This is a good book. I think the only one thing that I don't like, it's $5. And it just seems like these days, it's like we're finding any way, shape, or form to charge people for a $5 comic book. Now, it is a little bit longer than your standard issue, but why can't we just make a comic and still charge it for $3.99 even if there's a few extra pages in there because there's a lot of people that read these issues each and every month so that's my final thought on Batman issue number 40 Endgame part 6 guys leave me your comments below what you thought of this particular issue were you a fan were you not a fan are you a fan of where Batman is heading to and guys as always thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0 and until that next comic book review this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Thanks for watching, fans. See you soon. Bye.